Hello y'all and welcome to another Transformers review. Today we're going to be looking at some mini Autobots. There's one G1 that I have and the rest are G2. I'll explain more when I get off into it. Okay, the first one we're going to look at, his name is Hubcap. In his bio, one of his sayings is, Weapons can win battles, but words can win wars. Alright. Hubcap can intercept and decode any radio transmission he encounters. One of his weaknesses is his tongue is a double-edged sword weapon and his power of persuasion. And that is Hubcap. Now the next one we're going to take a look at as far as his bio is Power Glide. Power Glide is a unique fellow. In G1, he was one of the only Autobots that could fly. While the rest of them were ground based, pretty much vehicles that rolled on the earth, Power Glide can transform into a jet. To me, he always resembled an A 10 Warthog. But that's just my opinion. Okay. For Paraglide, his saying is, To stop me, you have to catch me first. He is a show-off when he takes to the sky. He's proud of the fact that he can take to the, the air and fly while the rest of his Autobot brothers and companions pretty much roll along on the earth, roll on the ground. His weakness, Power Glide often gets into more trouble than he can handle with enemy jets. He has relatively little strength in robot mode. And that is Power Glide. Now the next one is Bumblebee. I will get off more into Bumblebee with his transformation. Because he's not Goldbug. He is actually Bumblebee. Okay. Bumblebee saying is the last likely, the least likely, excuse me, the least likely can be the most dangerous. His profession is espionage. And here's what the Autobots think of him. The Autobots appreciate Bumblebee's skills and fun-loving, wisecracking nature. His skills as a spy are impressive. He has a non-threatening appearance. One of his weaknesses is he is weaker than most on the battlefield and challenges he undertakes. And that is Bumblebee. Now We're going to be looking at Sea Spray. Sea Spray is an Autobot, but he rides on the water. His saying, be unwielding as, be unyielding 
as the ocean waves, and your enemies shall fall. He loves the earth and is an even more unique experience than for his comrades. His domain is the vast ocean. His weakness, sea spray is not a very strong or mobile in robot mode. He is a liability as a warrior on the land. Now, last but not least, is Beachcomber. Yes, it is Beachcomber. Beachcomber. Know the conflict within before facing the conflict without. He is a pacifist. He prefers to utilize knowledge, not weapons. He don't really like to fight in wars. One of his weaknesses is a personal distaste for violence can interfere with his effectiveness in combat because he's a pacifist. Okay. Now, we're going to get a little group shot here. Beachcomber. Sea spray. Bumblebee. Power glide. I want to zoom out some. A little bit there. Move it over here. Aim hubcap. Hubcap. Power glide. Bumblebee. Sea spray. And beachcomber. Now. Have you noticed something about these? Some of them look really different because they have like a gold sheen to them. They have a sheen shine to them. There's a reason for that. Back when Transformers was pretty much all done, they decided to redo some molds but change the colors of them some. And this is part of the G generation two in this line of them wanting to revamp some of the old stuff from the 80s that they had so <clears throat> we're going to get off into transforming them and we will go through them step by step The first one's hubcap. He is small. He looks like a small mini mini car. That's his back. And there is a Autobot symbol on there. And this is his top view. But, there's one thing different in how you can tell that these are G2. Right there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. As far as G2, this was the logo that they was going with. Instead of this logo which is the regular Autobot logo. When you see these on these type of transformers, this is actually a Generation 2 revamp of a Generation 1. 
So, now we're going to get on to transforming hubcap. We'll take his hood, pull down. Take his feet, fold them forward. Take his arms, pull them out. Then take the top, flip up the head, and there you have Autobot hubcap. And that's Hubcap's head sculpt right there. Okay. So now we're going to put Hubcap off to the side in the background right here. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Power Glide. Now, Power Glide is a Generation Original 1 Power Glide. That right there is the rub symbol. Back then, all the original G1 Autobots had a rub symbol on them. And that, oops, too much, is what the rub symbol looked like. The transform power glide pull out his legs rotate his face around pull out his wings flip them up he is an old figure so he has a little bit of a problem standing but I should be able to get him to stand fold down his arms And that is Power Glide. Set him off in the background right there. The next one is Bumblebee. He looks a lot like Hubcap. Some of these molds are almost the same, but they have a little bit of slight different design to them. Bumblebee represents the G1 Bumblebee in the cartoon, 1980's cartoon of a Volkswagen Beetle. And there is that Autobot G2 logo again. To transform them is just like Hubcap. Pull down his Feet, hood, pull out his arms, flip up the head. Some people have this mistaken for Goldbug, but it is not Goldbug. It is actually Bumblebee. He's just in a G2 form. And that's the reason for the shininess because like I said it's generation 2 and let's see well he's kinda got a lean to him but these are older vintage transformers the next one is sea spray And I had a little bit of a problem trying to find the um, the logo on this one here for G2 until my son pointed it out to me. And then it was there to transform him. Let's see here. I'm going to pull out. extend his legs 
come up, flip that out, and there you have sea spray. And like I said, I had a little bit of a problem finding the G2 logo where it was at. And then my son told me, he said it's on his leg. And I had to back up and recheck and my son was correct. It's actually on his leg. There it is, right there. So that is sea spray. The next one is Beachcomber. Beachcomber, his logo is right there on his arm on the bottom side, but it's real faded, but it's there. You take Beachcomber, you take his legs, fold them out. Like so. Stand them up pull out his arms and then you flip up his head and there you have there you have beachcomber so let's see if I can get these guys in a group shot here beachcomber sea spray Let's see if I can get these guys to stand. Bumblebee. And you have Hubcap. And you also have Power Glide. <clears throat> now these are G2. A generation to after Transformers started fading out in 1990, I want to say 92, 93. I could be a little bit off in that era, but it was somewhere around that time frame. So what they did was they basically took a bunch of the same molds from G1 and tried to make a G2 to I guess revival just to get the last gasp out of the the toy cell so for anybody in that age who did not get a chance to get a G1 like power glide that was their chance to get a G2 of the same mold replica kinda of the G1 if that makes sense and like I said these are old these are well I'm surprised he's still standing but he's still standing but he falls <laughs> and then I had another one fall but anyway that's pretty much it for Transformers G2 revamp of what they tried to do with what they did with G1. So anyway, like I said, the difference between G2 and G1 is the G1 has the original Autobot logos from 1980s. The G2 has a different logo. A different logo that looks a different logo that looks like this right here which is different than the 1980s the 1980s design okay well that's it y'all have a good night and uh thanks for watching and if you like this com if you like this video leave a comment subscribe 
and like. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.